about baby it's plus your hair. Oh, okay. It's not about your face. Okay. No then light. I'm sag. No light. Alright, so let's just keep it real. I'm using a special product. All of my hairstyles, guys, you should know what this is. You can type it up if you want, but unfortunately, I cannot mm. say it. Calm down, okay. chill out, let okay. me do your hair. I just had a cookie. Let me do your hair, drink your juice. Cookies are for energy. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so look, let me talk. Can we talk like Joan Rivers? Can we talk? Y'all go ahead and say yes, we can. I need about 10 people to say that, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start talking and pass me. Okay, so this is a lock tutorial. One thing you want to make sure you do, okay, is you want to make sure the hair is well um, moisturized. Never, yes we can, yes we can. Thank you guys for giving me that permission to go ahead and talk and do my thing called tutorializing. Um, I don't do hair anymore in the hair salon. I had to give that up. So now you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do tutorials on things that I love to do. All right, so anyway... One thing you want to do about locks, okay? My husband has very soft hair. Um, he only wears locks because I wear my locks and he wants to join into the... Um, he doesn't have the typical African-American texture. Um, or, you know, let me go back to my book. He doesn't have a very tight, thick, coarse hair. He just doesn't have it. He has very loose... You know, he's about... 25% Indian, so you know how that goes. So his texture is really, really soft. So unfortunately, his locks are kind of thinning, just a tad, but it's okay because we're going to fix it. I've been fixing his locks over the years, and that's why I shaved, you know, I basically tapered all of this around here because I know that if his locks were up to here, he would start having... Sherman Hemsley action. I'm sure y'all guys know who Sherman Hemsley is. If you don't, go ahead and Google it. But yeah, he would start having Sherman Hemsley action or Archie Bunker, and we don't want that. So, I just went on and I just tapered it, so he doesn't have to go through that type of action. Alright, so, one thing about your locks, he's already shampooed his hair. Um, you want to make sure they are very well moisturized first. Because if you try to twist hair that's not moisturized, you're going to go ahead and start breaking your hair off, okay? So we don't want to just put, you know, a beeswax or something like that in your hair. Eh, we don't want to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this nice foam wrap in. Um, the brand will be up on the channel. Make sure you check the uh, description box. But yeah, that's basically um, what I'm going to do right now because he shampooed his hair yesterday. So we're going to make sure his hair is well moisturized. And you're going to go right in here. And you see this product is awesome. And yes, we do offer it. <laughs> you know I'm not on here just to, you know, I'm here to show you guys. And so you can purchase it as well. Okay. So yeah, you see how this is just making his hair soft. Guys, if you have any hair like his where it's like a, lo a loose curly texture and you have like a tapered cut or even long hair go ahead and get this product why because all you have to do is rub it in your hair and it starts to curl up naturally sit under a dryer or hit your hair with a dryer and that's all you have to do and you have the instant texturizer look go ahead and hash hashtag that who wants that nice texturizer look without placing a texturizer in now let me educate you on this a texturizer ain't nothing but a relaxer. Can we go ahead and type that up? It ain't nothing but a relaxer. I'll tell you how it is in a minute, okay? Yeah, I'm giving all the tea up because I no longer do hair, so I don't give a darn. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure I twist to the same direction all the time. You never, this is why... Excuse me, y'all. This is why I urge you guys to always go to the same person, whether it's a friend, whether it's a stylist. 
Do not go from chair to chair. Go ahead and type it up. Chair to chair. Hashtag no chair to chair. Why? Because one hairstylist might palm roll. One hairstylist might pull. One hairstylist might be tight. One hairstylist might be loose. One hairstylist might clip down here. One hairstylist might clip. You have to go to one hairstylist so they know your hair and they twist your hair the same way each time. Because if you twist your hair one way, one time, one way the other time, your hair is just going to snap off like a, like, a, like, a, like a twig. That's basically what it's going to do. You're going to start balding. And we don't want that. So let's get back to that texturizer thing. People just want to cut their hair and they say, girl, I want to texturize. It ain't nothing but a relaxer. Or to all y'all people who are uneducated on here about it, it ain't nothing but a perm, okay? All it does is it's just going to loosen up the coil that you have already. That's all a texturizer does. So a texturizer does not curl your hair, girls and boys. No, it loosens your natural coil already. Who in here knew that? Put up a 77 if you knew it. Put up a 92 if you did not. And if we have any questions in here, you can go ahead and you can type it up. Look, if you are a person who wants to do kind of sort of what I'm doing, please message the page and say, hey, I am a beauty provider and I would love to go live on this page. Go ahead and somebody will get in touch with you. All right. So I'm basically twisting his hair to the right. I'm not doing it tight. I am not doing no palm rolling. That is really bad mechanics for you if you palm roll. I'm just keeping it real. When you palm roll, you're overextending this but this digit right here. This 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 bone right here. Um, I don't know what it's called. Go ahead and Google it. I think it's called the radius. But anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to constantly just use that. And all of a sudden, you're going to start getting a big bump on this part. So it's really not good for you to do that. So I'm going to need you not to do it. Okay, what you're going to do, and when I get up to the top, I'm going to show you more of what I do, okay, but you're not going to be able to see it back here, because I'm really trying to do his hair, because I was tired of seeing it all over the place, I'm just keeping it R-E-A-L, I like to keep my man looking right and tight, you know, when you're on camera, you got to look a certain way, all right, honey, I'm, unfortunately, you're going to have to get up and get me some clips, You know how I go. Mm. If you have any thinning right here, unfortunately, it's nothing you can do about it. Okay? One thing about um, locks that are thinning, and this is my voice. If you don't like it, tune off. Okay? I cannot sit here and act like y'all paid me $500 for this course. So I have to go into different voices. Okay? Alright, so this voice right here is just, I'm just trying to get you to listen to me. Alright? So when it starts to thin, it's nothing you can do about it. It's just nothing you can do about it but cut it off. No. That's all you can do. Okay, go Okay. Ahead. You're going to go ahead and you're going to cut it off. Okay? All right. And I'm just going to cut it right here. I'm just going to I'm just going to just just cut it. I do surgery on these locks. Cuz honey, you don't want to look like Sherman Hemsley in the back, do you? You do know who Sherman Hemsley is, don't you? I do. Okay, sit back. Okay. This is this is not a mirror. How long have I been doing your hair? Oh, 15, 15 years. years, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so thank you. Are you letting them see it or you try to see it? Both. Look, I got you, boo. I got you more than what you, I got you. Okay. I got you. All Look right. at that. So basically what I did was I grouped that little bit of hair. Why? Because I want him to maintain his sexy corner. This is your sexy head in America. That way you know that you're supposed <laughs> to have it, you know, that way you know you're doing it right. Because if you can do a tender head person, that means more than likely you are using um, very um, modest uh, strength and you care about that person. You don't want to put them in pain. And basically when you do that, you won't have hair breakage and you will have clients with you for years. Okay, so guys, you want to know why? I see all the 2498s. Well, the reason why is because as he's under the heater, which is the dryer, 
this is metal clips by the way okay so what happens when metal hits hair for a long time metal heated metal what happens go ahead shoot it up shoot it up let's see if y'all actually listening what happens when metal gets hot and you touch hair what happens to the hair Miss Darlene, with all due respect, how do you know my husband is patient? Do you even know what patience is? I'm going to go biblical on you. To be patient, you must be tested. So never ask God to be patient because that means you want to be tested. That's the only time you become patient. So you're basically saying my husband is being tested right now. How do you know that? Honey, I know that was supposed to be a compliment. But please never call somebody patient it's like a kick in the groin thanks anyway what are they saying husband <laughs> uh, it burns heat damage uh, it burns your hair um, amen I'm sorry oh no problem no. baby I just like to teach uh, anyway you're absolutely right yes when the heat hits these clips and it hits your hair, it's going to start basically straightening the hair and breaking the hair off. So you never want to clip it up here. And they're going to be under the dryer burning. And they're not going to come back to you. I'm just keeping it real. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just clip it in the mid shaft. Okay? Alright. Now, can I go my speedy way? Because I would have been done, right? Sure can. Anybody else have any questions or concerns? I'm sorry, I'm not a teacher. I, I hope that tutorial was okay. I've been doing locks a long time. So I really can do these in my sleep. And how long should it take for somebody to do your locks? In my opinion, 45 minutes no matter how many locks you have. Why? Because I have my little technique. If you want to know the technique that I do locks in, it doesn't matter if they have five locks or 500 locks it should take you under an hour to do the maintenance put up a 1928 okay What twisting cream, honey? We make our own. You know, when you do this commercially like I used to, when you were, you know, buying um, pre-made creams um, is very expensive. And a lot of the creams that you buy in the stores, they don't melt and they don't basically, uh, they don't melt. And they group in the locks, okay? So if you see his lock, his lock is black all the way through. He really doesn't have any lint um, buildup or anything like that. And that's because we make our own product. Okay. Unfortunately, I haven't had enough sugar, so I don't know why y'all said 1929. Why are they saying 1929? Hmm? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Can somebody tell me what the <laughs> numbers mean? That's the only thing about my diet. Uh -huh. um, I don't remember. <laughs> Here, have a cookie. trying to drum up my brain myself. What did mm. I say? Okay, guys. Can anyone help us? <laughs> uh, Jenna has... Um... I, you know, I, hey, you can't have everything. My memory sucks. Here, have a cookie. Can you one tell one? me the best product to use? Hmm. Um, the best product to use is the product that I um, I uh, use, but I don't sell it. So, hmm. wow, that's crazy. And then I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Hair Talks Mag on YouTube. Oh, okay. I've already answered that. Thanks. Thank you so much. Just hit that subscribe Honestly, button. Honestly, I forgot. Oh. Oh, the fastest way to tw twist. Thank you. Okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what I do is I do a method called side, side, middle. Side, side, middle. Don't know why. I coined that years ago when I first started doing hair professionally. 
And this lady came in. She used to come in about 7 o'clock at night. I'm, I've am i been in the salon all day. I wanted to leave. She had literally 200 locks. And mm. I said, you know what? I am not doing the typewriter method. The typewriter mm. method is what a lot of braiders use. They go from this way, this way, and this way. Honey, wow. I was like, I'm not going to take four hours on this lady's head. Mm. So basically what I did was I did this side, this side, middle. It literally took an hour and a half off of the original time so mm -hmm. that's basically what i did side side middle oh and don't forget to hit the notification button yeah do i remove locks yeah i remove them i remove them by cutting them off <laughs> if you asking somebody like me to comb them out oh no and anybody who said that they've combed them out I'm gonna tell y'all right now this is just my opinion more than likely they weren't real okay they were not real locks ain't that my husband you got it I don't think if I can they comb said mine they out. combed their own mm. locks out I'm gonna tell you how they in God's earth locks. can you comb this out how can you comb that let's, out let's see they lied to you like the IRS yes they did look at that it's no way you yeah. can comb them out. So, they more than likely, if they say, girl, I combed them out. No, she just took them lock extensions out. That's mm. all. Mm. But that's my opinion, okay? <laughs> my, look, look, my professional opinion. <laughs> Secret. So, you see how I'm doing the side, side, middle. Give me a time check, husband time check yeah because these people got stuff to do okay let's see they don't want to be up on here too long let me see if i can get them involved guys can you give me a time check now in the back of his head you'll you'll see this this is, this mm -hmm. is what i want to talk about okay remember when i said his hair is kind of thin mm -hmm. well it's thin up in his t-zones i'm sorry mm -hmm. in his stress zone s zone it's very thin. I'm going to tell you why. He's a very tight-knit. He goes and he makes websites all day. He He's mm. just, um, he has issues. So the mm. thing about it is, up in this area right here, it thins out like mad. It really Thank you does. Guys. And that's probably what's going on with whoever is watching here. You might go up in your scalp area right here and find that back here is nice and thick. But up here in your stress zone, that's what it is. It's your stress zone. And it's a scientifically why it's a stress zone. Because up in here, you do have um, your, your your scalp mm. is tight. It's like, yeah, he needs to relax. Like, mm. basically, you can give yourself massages. You can massage your own scalp, okay? You mm. don't have to sit in my seat to, to get this. What you do, mm. do it right now, okay? Take your left okay. and your right hand mm. right now. Okay. You're going to place your fingers on your scalp. Mm. You're not going to dig you're going to put the pads of your fingers on your scalp. And you're only going to move like this. You're not going to do this. You're not going to do this. You're going to do this. And you're going to go kind of like in a circular motion. You can do this on your clients or you can do this on yourself. Okay? Unfortunately, this is not going to work for him because he's very stressed. But if, if you were not stressed, you would basically okay. see your skin just loosen up. You will see. See how tight his forehead is? His Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Because okay. if you do that enough, okay. it's going to stick in there. You're going to look like it's going to look like the grapes in a darn uh, refrigerator. Don't do that. Okay. Stop. Relax your face. Your face should be nice and smooth, but yet it should be movable. You feel me? It should not be so tight where I feel like his skull is right there. You should have more collagen in there. You should have more muscle. You should you, you should just look better than you do, Andrew. You mm -hmm. just, you're looking a little. You're looking your age. I am. If you want to take ten years off of your life, right? Meaning off of your face. Okay. You want to go ahead and you want to sit here and you want to just go ahead and just massage. We do this. We do this to our dog. And I used to wonder why my dog used to fall asleep. And then I did it on myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, he knows what he knows. So this just do this on yourself. Do this on your husband. Do this on your wife. And they'll love you for it. And to be honest, look at this. You're starting to see his skin move. It's not as tight. You probably feel some blood flow, don't you? 
Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. See, he's not doing that to his face. I am, and that's basically what you need to do. It helps with your blood pressure, your pulse. Can you please get that light out of my face? Thank you. <laughs> please. I don't need that light in my face. Why are you doing that? Okay, no light. Light. No light. I don't need the light, babe. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. I hope I hope that helps you guys out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna twist the rest of his hair. And one thing you don't want to do with locks, you never want to combine them. We see that a lot. We used to see that a lot in the hair salon. Where people would come in with locks that were combined. Meaning it would be two and three locks together. Now, this is what happens when you do that. Don't ever let anybody do that to your hair. And if you're a hairstylist that does that, I'm going to need you to stop. Because it just, makes you, it just makes them look bad. It makes you look bad. So this one is really thin at the base. When it starts to thin, guys, you have to, t you just have to cut it. If you do not cut it, it's going to start thinning your whole head. See, right now, he has no elasticity in this part. Who knows what elasticity is? Put up a 92 if you do. If you don't, I'll tell you. Put up a number one if you don't know. When you start to thin at the base, you want to make sure you either, number one, cut that lock off. Or number two, cut the weight off the bottom so it's not so heavy. Okay? But yeah, he had no more elasticity. Elasticity is basically the flexibility, the, the bounce back of the hair. Once you start to have it where it's straight and there's nothing else there, it's going to start breaking off. And because I see that, I'm sorry, I'm his hairstylist, I had to remove it. And he'll thank me later when he still has his hair and not mm -hmm. look like Sherman Hemsley. Okay, if you don't know who that is, go ahead and Google it. All right, so. Right, stretch, elasticity, yup, bounce back, stretch. And once you start to not have any stretch in your hair, and I'm not just talking about locks, I'm talking about hair in general, your hair is going to start to thin, break off, and sometimes you're going to go into the land of what? alopecia alopecia okay and alopecia unfortunately most of the times is not correctable um, depending on why you're having alopecia if you're having alopecia due to tight hairstyles or stress or diet um, you can correct that but if it's alopecia due to chemical imbalances um, if you were born that way then no, uh, you can't correct that. All you can do is try to grow the hair around it to hide or mask your alopecia. And that's basically, um, what is that called? Uh, disguising it? Mm. Yeah. People make the mistake of just wanting to slap a wig on or... Uh, put braids in and you're putting more weight on your hair. That's not wise, right? So to that piece that I cut off up top, I'm just going to group that hair into another one and make his very, you know, kind of thin locks up here. I'm going to basically join that hair that I cut out into another lock to kind of thicken that lock up. And that's basically sometimes what you can do to thicken your locks up. Um, sometimes just go to somebody who knows what they're doing where they can remove some locks. Because, you know, I started these locks with lock extensions. And his hair was very, very short. It was about this short. So when you start short, you have to put more locks in your hair, which might encourage you to have thin locks. So over time, you might have to group them, but you never want to group two locks together because it's going to be too heavy on the base of that hair. So that's basically what you have to do. Cut the hair. Um, I could possibly put an extension up here 
because he does have a lot of hair. Excuse you. Can I put an extension in for, for this video? Sure. Okay. Hmm. I mean, what, what are you shaking your head? The, the, the model is supposed to be like. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. You, you yes, know, that's yes, what I. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were trip. <laughs> but honestly, yeah. Hmm. Like, if it's like really. If you can't group any hair, mm. like more than likely, he probably doesn't need it. I could probably group all that hair in this one. Yes. But say if he didn't have this lock right here, then you can actually put a lock extension here, mm. blend it all in, and nobody would never know. Okay? Mm. Anybody have any questions, you can go ahead and type them up. Let me finish this hair of his. Make sure the hair stays wet. I said it earlier, if you missed it, rewind the video. Somebody can type it up if you know why it's best to do your locks while wet and not dry. Well, what do you think the benefits are of wearing locks, husband? Oh, uh, they're low maintenance. Um, okay. Yeah, they're low maintenance. No, no that's no. not a benefit? Okay. Um, that is the reason why okay. people are bald. Oh, okay. Because uh, they think that locks are low maintenance. That's why I asked him because I kind of knew what he was going to say. He's a typical like, mm -hmm. like basically if I wasn't married to him, I wouldn't have him as a client. Because of that one statement, low mm -hmm. maintenance means uh. no maintenance and they're not going to come into the hair salon. Other when they have issues or their stuff starts to combine or they have Sherman Hemsley action and he wants me to do some miracle that I did not go to school for. Okay? I'm just mm -hmm. saying. No. The benefits of having locks is just because they're cool. <laughs> There's, I mean, really, it's not a lazy hairstyle. You have to keep it up. You have to go to somebody who knows what they're doing, correct? You do. Because mm -hmm. you'll have alopecia. Yeah, it makes it easier to twist. But, yeah, it, your hair, yeah, basically. Thank you. Because I don't want to repeat mm -hmm. myself. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're right? Welcome. Mm-hmm. Want a cookie? What is somebody saying? What? Read the um, comments, babe. Okay. I would have been done this hair, to mm -hmm. be honest. I'm taking my time to basically give you guys, a, you know... A tutorial. A tutorial. But okay. it's not to the swift, y'all. It's not about how fast you can mm -hmm. go. But... This is a marathon. Is to the one that endure. And basically, I'm putting on some cream that I made, my husband mm. and I made, and it melts. It doesn't group in the hair. I mean, it's awesome, guys. Build up in yeah. the hair. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day, one day, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. Mm -hmm. But and it, and the thing about it is because mm -hmm. locks are is hair that never you, you don't shed. You don't you don't really. Um, mm -hmm. You don't comb it, you don't brush it, you don't manipulate it. It just mm. grows out. Um, you want to use a product okay. that is very water soluble. If you don't know what water soluble mm -hmm. is, uh -huh. you want to go ahead and Google that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to use a product that is water soluble. soluble. That mm -hmm. way your hair stays clean, it stays light. Because over years, your hair can basically build up um, oils and dirt and debris. And that makes your hair heavy as well. So you really want to make sure your hair is light, mm -hmm. clean, yes. fresh. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, your hair should move. Locks should move. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, that's all I can say about that. Somebody said something. Mm. Why don't you sell it? <laughs> um, can anyone get dredged? Um, the reason why we don't sell it is it's a lot of propaganda. If you don't know mm. what propaganda is, go ahead and Google it. Um, it's a lot of steps and things that you Red have tape. to do to get products. You have to have mm -hmm. a lot of money. You have to have a lot of um, support. Mm -hmm. You have to have your clientele mm -hmm. already ready to buy it. So mm -hmm. I know like this is the age where everybody's like, I'm going to get mm -hmm. my own product. But mm -hmm. especially hair products, and it's a game that a lot of people have products in, you want to make sure that that product is going to stand on its own and, and, and buy. You know, have people buy it. So If we sold it, would yeah. you guys pre-order it? Right. Like, would you pre-order it? Comment below if you would pre-order I locked y'all. Yeah, so. 
yeah, but don't even don't even play around with that. No, don't play around with it. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not. I, I don't. I don't have the funds nor the know how. Like I'm a hairstylist, not a not a product person. Okay. You feel me? But I'm just saying, like basically, whatever product that you use, just make sure it's water soluble. If you don't know what water soluble water is, water soluble. Just mm-hmm. go ahead and Google it. But um, you don't want to just put any product. And I will say this: try your best not to put petroleum or uh, beeswax. And beeswax is the product, not the brand. Okay? Mm. All right. Let's just get that correct. So, yeah, you don't want to put the beeswax in your hair. Okay? It's not water soluble. It's not water soluble. Mm. It really isn't. Hold on. Yeah. um, Somebody just typed up or copy and pasted. Thank you. Um, More water than product. Right? Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm not saying that. So anyway, I'm not saying that last name. Um, it's not. But thank you so much. <laughs> Cause I don't want to mispronounce it. You know. I, I I could probably pronounce the first name, but you know. We're up at that mm-hmm. mighty top, ain't we? Yes, we are. The the area that's the the most sensitive and the thinning, the huh. the, the, the thinnest. What is the best shampoo? Mm. Mm. Unfortunately, on I Love Beauty, we cannot, um, (laughs) that face is my only child syndrome. We're both only children, by the way. Um, I don't like to share, and he likes to share too much. Like, he just wants to just have everything. How about you have the diabetes that I have? Do you want me to share that? Well, yours is mine, and mine is yours. There we go. Good answer. Yeah. He's well, a diabetic too. I am. He's married to one. That's yes. right. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. We have the same diet. We do. We eat everything the same. Yeah. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the best shampoo? Yeah, we can't say brands. Yeah. But the uh, thing about it is the best shampoo that I can say through my, um, mm. what is it, my professional advice is uh-huh. to get shampoo that's light. Light. And you can see through it. Translucent. Translucent. Uh huh. Um, and light. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. And most most yeah. products that are professional are that way. Um, store don't don't buy shampoo because it smells good. Uh yeah, that's that's you a lot. You don't want a lot of fragrances. Yeah. You don't want a lot of colors because all of that Dyes. is bad for mm-hmm. your body. Remember, mm-hmm. your skin is the. It's not about remember. I've never said this. Yeah. But your mm-hmm. skin is your largest organ. So mm-hmm. basically, whatever you place on your skin and, and it's and, porous. And, your scalp is skin too. Your, your scalp is porous. Uh-huh. Continue. It's porous, and guess what? It's your brain's right there. It's so like you just really want to get something that is really mm-hmm. like um, thin, mm. translucent, uh-huh. and water soluble. And, and you know what? Uh, if you want to get a moisturizing product, guys, it doesn't matter what age you are. Okay. Um, like if you are pro- having problems with thinning, it really doesn't matter what age you are you know it's all about moisture uh, you need moisture in your body and in your scalp and on your hair okay yeah. so it doesn't matter if you're um, a certain age first you of know. all it's not your age it's mm-hmm. your stress level and your ah, hormone level you got it um, it's a lot of 30 year old women mm-hmm. who are going through alopecia you need moisture um, like a 50 mm-hmm. year old mm-hmm. you know sometimes when you're 30 or 35 you can actually mm-hmm. go through menopausal um, symptoms and you're only 30 mm-hmm. so it's not about age it's about um, hormones. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm-hmm. And what was the other thing? Yeah. Thinning. No, no, no. I said it's about hormones and what? Uh, moisture. Oh, and stress levels. Ah, uh, stress. Mm-hmm. Because I've had, I've had people, especially my deceased clients, I have most of my deceased clients, they're 90, and they pass away with a head full of hair. You didn't expect that, did you? No, not at <laughs> <Okay>. all. Okay. <laughs> Lord, tell them. Mm. I it's feel true, like isn't it? I feel like she just dropped me off in the desert, and you know the birds are chirping. But it's the truth. Yes, it is. It's the uh-huh. truth. I have mm-hmm. a lot of my ninety-year-old mm-hmm. deceased clients. They have mm-hmm. full of full. They have a head full of hair. Their heart's just not beating. I mean, what yeah. would you rather? I think you'd rather that thin hair, ma'am. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, anybody else have any questions? 
guys, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Hair Talks Mag on YouTube. Hair Talks Mag on YouTube. And you are rolling, Jenna. Roll, oh, by the way. You look like you're almost done. Hairstyles, never put yeah. clips in your head, in your mouth. Mm, it's not First sanitary. First of all, uh, if State Board sees this, you will get docked $5,000. Show them the clip. But because I'm at home, I, I can right do here. that. Yeah. Never put the clips. Yeah. And, and it's just nasty. Like, really, yeah. a lot of people don't even wash their clips. Huh. But they put them in their mouth. Like, that's a bad, bad habit. Okay, so I'm getting up to this top. Mm. Being very careful. And I'm grouping the hair. Grouping the hair. Slide down for me. Okay. Another thing, hairstylist. If you're in like um, you're in a side. Why are you slide? I'm, I am trying to slide down. Maybe we need our hydraulic chair. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on for one moment. Right back. I think this is lower. <laughs> it's cool. Do I braid hair? Yes, I do. I braid hair, but I don't. I don't do hair professionally anymore. Um, to the living. Sorry. Okay. All right. But if a deceased client wanted their hair braided, I'll be on it like okay. swimwear, wouldn't I? Oh, you would. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody on here wants to be my client. No. <laughs> All right. So. We're almost done. Okay. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe she don't want to be a client. She just want me to do a tutorial on how to braid. Oh, okay. Hated it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like braiding. Trust and believe. It's beautiful. And I'm going to leave that to the braiders. Trust, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, they specialize in it. You want to learn how to braid? Look, I the best way to learn how to braid, I've been braiding since I was 17 years old. I used to braid my own hair. Go figure. Yes, I did. I braided my own hair in singles and stuff like that. The best way that you can learn how to braid is get your hair braided. As a kid, I used to get my hair braided all the time. And the kind of person that I am is when I go places, I observe and I look. And I'm a quick learn. I mean, I can look at something one time or twice. I'm 37 now. I may have to look at it four times now. But I'm just saying. Um, and I just pick it up. And that's the best way. Not a YouTube video. No. Get your hair braided and watch. Right? That's how I learned. You can learn by uh, YouTube as well. Right? You can. But you have yeah. to have a base. One thing about YouTube University, I don't know if you guys attend it or not, but I teach there. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Tap the screen. That's okay? Hair Talks Mag on YouTube. But one thing about YouTube University is you have to have a base to learn from it. If you don't have a base in something, it's very tough to, to pick up anything on there. Am and I you, can't, you can't touch it, feel it. You know, you're not there. Yeah. There's a degree of separation because you're through the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. But if you go to the salon... I know why you want me to braid your hair. It's because I'm gentle. That's uh, another thing about it. I don't know if you can pick up that I'm gentle, but you might could pick it up through the screen that I'm very gentle. I don't know. But I am very gentle mm -hmm. with people's hair. A lot of braiders, they get caught up in how it looks instead of the person that they're doing, you know? You, you leave the chair, you have bumps, you have... There's no reason why you should have to take a pain relief when you get braids. In my opinion, it's no reason. Um, when you braid, you want to make sure that the person don't take the braid all the way up to the scalp area. It, the, the braid needs to move. When you leave, you should be able to move and manipulate the hair, even if it's in a cornrow. You want it to have a little bit of space so when your hair is growing out, it doesn't pop at the seams. The seams meaning your scalp area. You know, so, I mean braiders you got to do better i really do think that all people who touch hair should have a license i'm saying it because i'm no longer in business so i can say that but um yeah i really do think that everybody who touches hair should have a license a braiding license in some states they do yeah well it should be in all 
because they're breaking off hair they're causing alopecia and then clients you need to tell people please don't braid my hair too tight don't braid it too tight you got to speak up your braid should not hurt can somebody type that up I just want to make sure you guys are listening braid should not hurt nothing you get on your hair should hurt in my opinion Can, can you, you convert? I'm sorry, go ahead. Can you convert relaxed hair to dreads? Yes. If by you, you mean me? Or can a person? Because yes, I know how to do it. Um, basically, relaxed hair is straight hair. Uh, and you know you've seen people with straight hair have locks. It's just something that they you have to do um, to their hair to make it coarse. So the answer is yes. Right. Well, yeah, speak up. And if the if the if okay, I've had braiders say, look, if I can't do your hair tight, I'm not gonna do your hair because I want my work to look right. I'm sorry. If you don't want your hair tight, I'm not gonna do your hair. And then that's just, then get up, say good, thank you, and, and leave. It is what it is. Right? Some people that they don't understand. Braiders don't understand. And no. if you go to a braider and they don't look, if they don't wear their own work, like ma'am, would you braid your own hair? If, if, if they stutter, get up. <laughs> Have them braid their own hair for a minute. Like I want to see you braid your hair before you braid mine. Yeah, I had one braider. I, I, oh I kid you not. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you talking about? I uh, had a braider that worked in my hair salon. Mm -hmm. She was an awesome braider. She was. Mm -hmm. However, she braided way, way too tight. And she braided my hair in some great cornrows. I mean, some feed ins. It was one color up top and another I mean, color was, down the bottom. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. However, I went to the movies that night and I was getting a headache. And I was like, oh, I'm too cute. I'm keeping these in. I slept overnight. And then the next day, I thought I was going to die. So I asked my husband, I said, please come in here real, real quick. She called we me in distress. We got to take these braids out. So the next day, I was feeling bad because I was like, oh my gosh, this girl, she worked on my head. And the next day, I had to take it out. And I had to explain to her. I said, ma'am, I'm sorry, you know, your hair was great. But if you ever wanted to kill somebody, just go ahead and braid their hair. They'll never know. Apparently, she got offended and she quit. But the point is, like, <laughs> Death a by week braids. later, uh -huh. yeah. she braided her own hair and she had bumps over her. She had bumps mm -hmm. in her head and she's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I braided that much, that, that yeah. tight. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, yeah. you braid very tight. Most most braiders feel like uh, if it's tight, then it's, it's a good job, you know. I mean, I felt a thump in my head. Like, like it could have been an aneurysm. You could actually see the um, yeah. the pores, her follicles being being raised because of the tension. Why don't I palm twist? I said that at the beginning of the video, so you yeah. might, when I'm done, go ahead and, and rewind. And rewind. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna yeah. say that, but yeah, there's a reason why I don't. It's actually that's too, a good question. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. And if you don't see it on here, make sure you check out my YouTube. YouTube. And it will actually be on YouTube as well. That's Hair Talks Mag on YouTube. But, yep, I'm almost done. And his hair is tight. You guys probably can't mm -hmm. see it yet. Okay. But his hair is tight, and I am not doing it tight. I pride myself okay. on making hair look tight, but don't do it tight. And so you women walking around with your tight locks thinking it's cute when I can see half scalp, half hair. I laugh at people like you every day. I say to my husband, look at that alopecia in the making. Yes, I do. Hmm. You think you're cute, but you're not. You're not cute. You're just walking around with a very tight hairstyle. And in a few months, your hair is going to come out. I'm just keeping it real. Okay? So don't let people do hairstyles too tight. Okay? Oh, I just want my hair to last. I just want my hairstyle to last. But do you want your hair to last, though? I'm just saying. Like, do you want your hairstyle to last? I'm sorry, your hair. Your hair is more important than a hairstyle. Right? I 
right, so we're almost done. Almost done? Hi. Guys, make sure you tap the screen, tap the screen. To follow okay. or subscribe. What did they say? You know, a lot of people have who have natural hair um, have problems with managing it because of their texture. And um, you know, how do you deal with that, Jenna? What? You know, uh, let's say you have coarse hair. Mm -hmm. Your hair is really coarse, and uh, when your hair is really coarse, it tends to mat and intertwine. How do you well, deal with? Well, does she have locks or regular hair? That's a good question. I don't think. I don't think so. Because if you have what locks, that's very that's perfect. But if you have regular hair that matches, it just means that you're not combing your hair okay. um, enough. You have to comb your hair daily. The reason why it mats, you know what? If you mm -hmm. want to know why hair mats, mm -hmm. please put up a 1973. Okay. Because I don't want to talk about stuff that people really don't want to hear. Okay. 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 Let's see if I can actually read it. Okay. Back. My hair gets very matted underneath. I have curly, kinky, curly hair. It's so painful to brush through, even washed and conditioned. Is there something I can use to help it more manageable? Basically, basically. So I'm just giving him a little shape up. Okay, is there anything she can use? Mm -hmm, to make it more manageable. loaded question ma'am i don't mean mm -hmm. no harm and that's actually another video yeah she's, she's um had because i'm really serious about hair and hair care and i uh, can't just answer that in in one sentence like that's like a course or that's really like another video but i if i had to choose like basically if my life depended on it to right. answer your question first and mm -hmm. foremost a lot of people who are natural and i see you 1973 um a lot of people awesome. who are natural, uh -huh. um, unfortunately, you feel being natural means you leave your hair alone. Mm. You, in fact, when your hair is natural, it's okay. You okay, baby? Okay, I'm back. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show them my hair. I wanted oh. to show show them what you actually did. Thank you. When your hair is natural, mm -hmm. it's actually more um, fragile because it takes more to to make your hair. Um, moldable or manip what is it uh manageable manageable okay so one thing you need to do to all of my sickies out there is you need to make sure you're shampooing your hair at least twice a month okay i don't want to hear that you're not shampooing your hair why because you're afraid when it curls back up you're not going to be able to do anything but put it in a little puff ball where you have all those little little you know knots at the back and it just looks like you're you know on the plantation somewhere plantation hair mm -hmm. Okay, um, you need to get a great product that has moisture in it, not a lot of alcohol. Alcohol snaps and breaks the hair. So you want to get a lot of moisture in your hair. First and foremost, because I am a queen of what I eat, you have to drink plenty of water. You have to, you have to drink plenty of water. Okay, if you don't drink water, your hair is going to grow out brittle. It's going to break off like a broomstick, and that's just not cute. Okay, so you want to make sure you're getting plenty of water filtered water in your body so when your hair grows out it grows out nice and soft yes this is my hair my locks yes and see how light they are okay yes that's how your hair is supposed to be so drink a lot of water eat a lot of fish fish is like grease for our bones like if you're not eating fish you probably got a lot of you know you know what is it called uh, Arthritis, arthritis, you're probably yeah. fussing at everybody and very crabby and then when you get so on these stiff, videos, yeah. you're probably trolling people. That's why, it's probably because you're not eating enough salmon, you know, sockeye to be exact, you know. Uh, people who don't eat well and drink well, you guys are just crabby and you have alopecia. Um, so if you fit that, all you have to do is just change your lifestyle, start eating better. Um, She's gone to chains. She's gone to you know, uh, Spanish salons, she's gone to, you know, uh, natural hair salons, and no one knows what to do with her hair. Okay, so 
okay, but do you know what to do with your hair? If you don't know what you to do with your hair, then they're not going to really know. I mean, if you go in there like, um, but Jenna, I'm going to need you to do my hair and have a, a crazy attitude, then yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that's you, but a lot of people, unfortunately, mm. they have crazy attitudes when they go to hairstylists when we can only do what, what you tell us or what you, you know, we're like doctors. You know, so if you come in and you say if you're if you're truthful with your hairstylist and say, look, my hair is itching, my hair, I can't do anything with it, then uh, we can you know properly prescribe what you need, okay? But if you go in there just expecting me to know everything, we're not mind readers, first of all. I you know me if you come in my chair, if I ever get a chair again, okay, I don't know what the I don't know what the future holds. Okay. But if I ever, ever were to have a salon again, um, when you come to my hair salon, honey, you're going to get basically a full consultation. Which people, you tell them consultations. Ah, uh, they run. They run, they I run, mean, they run like you run for I mean, the they, they I mean, run. Really. And yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. A, a, a true hairstylist should, and I'm sorry hairstylist, you're not going to like this. I just cut the weight off the top of his hair. Okay, and Did she reason, just cut my hair, right? And the reason being is because right here, I told you guys it was kind of thinning. So his hair does it feel a little lighter? It does. Right. You mm. should be really, you know, cutting the weight off of your locks as well because our mm. locks they get they get heavy. It's no other way to say it. They get heavy because it's hair that's constantly grouping. It's not shedding. So over the years, your hair starts to get heavy up in this area right here, and that's why you start to see thinning up in this off in, in this area. But getting back to what I was saying, what was I saying? Guys, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Hair Talks Mag on YouTube. You, you guys never want to pay for my course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. How often do, do I shampoo his locks? Every two weeks. Every two weeks. Just like a salon. We're salon people. So that's what yeah. we do. Sometimes people shampoo their hair um, too much. And sometimes they uh, don't shampoo it enough. But every two weeks it should be good. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you want. Thank you, Miss Darlene. If you don't know, if you don't know your own hair, unfortunately, I don't know it either. Um, so consultations I think that's what I was doing if you're not giving consultations to your um, your clients hairstylist you're doing yourself an injustice and, and your client as well you need to know what their lifestyle is you need to know what what uh, what profession they're in mm. you need to know how much water they drink you need to know when their last chemical was you need to know these things so you know how to basically diagnose them and treat them if you look at your job like that, you'll make more money and you'll have more clientele. Right? You got it. Um, I can say this now because I ain't in the hair salon anymore. Oh, okay. You know, but it's, that, I want to basically blend in with you guys instead of me looking like I cost $500 for you to sit in my chair. Because uh, nobody does that. Like, no. Nobody does no. consultations no. anymore. Okay? No. Do I see your comment? Um, I see that one. Did you say anything, darling? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, do you treat your locks with a protein treatment? And if so, how often? Protein treatments are, first of all, are, are, are great, but they're great in small doses. So you really don't want to give yourself a protein treatment. Why? Because if you don't rinse it correctly, if you do it too much, your hair will get hard and snap off like a twig. So you, you want to really go to a professional for a protein treatment. Mm -hmm. Protein is basically for hair that is brittle, that is mm -hmm. breaking off, and you want to put some type of um, stiffness or some type of basically uh, strength to your hair. Um, if you're already good in that department, you, you don't want to do that. So, all right. once a month and I told him to every two weeks. Yeah, if, if you're shampooing your hair once a month, you probably don't have a lot of friends. You know, you probably don't have a man and you probably... Yeah. Next question. 
I mean, to be honest, man, mm. I don't mean no harm, but how does that smell? Like, what does your man do? Okay, how often do you shampoo locks, and how long, <laughs> and how long does a person sit under the dryer for locks? It depends on the thickness. Like, to be honest, his hair is pretty, like, thin. Mm. So he has to stand under the dryer for about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. Mm. Um, but if you have thick hair, you might have to stand under there longer. And it depends on what brand of dryer, how old the dryer is. Mm. I mean, really, guys, are you going to ask me how long you should be under the dryer? Look, if you don't like being under the dryer, don't get locks. Because I'm going to tell you why. Your hair is going to mildew. Mildew like that bathroom mm. that you didn't hit bleach with. Like, really, it's going to mildew. Mm. You're going to stink. Yeah. You're going to have hair that's going to fall out. You're going to have alopecia by the time you had these yeah. things for one year. No one's going to like you. No one's going to want to do your hair. Because you're walking around smelling like, like, like one of mildew. my clients. I yeah. don't mean no harm, but unfortunately, <laughs> deceased clients don't smell the best. You do not want to smell like formaldehyde. <laughs> you lost me again. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, yeah, don't yeah. let my clients smell better than no. you. All right? That's what I'm going to say. Anybody else have any questions? Like an old mop. Yes, ma'am. I wash them when I redo them. But he says I shampoo them too much. Um, look, you doing his hair for free, right? You his for girl, free. right? Uh -huh. I'm gonna need him to um roll, bounce, fall back, <laughs> and say thank or, you. Or go go somewhere else and let some and man do your you. hair. Do your hair. You say let some man do your hair, cause don't ever let no woman do his hair, honey. That's why he sits in my chair. Ain't that right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about if you have thyroid? My hair break off or get bald spots around, around every... three months. Well, honey, you need to go to your doctor. Mm -hmm. I said I'm a doctor of hair, not organs. Mm -hmm. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you tap the screen. You want a cookie? To, um, remember your prostate, baby. Tap the screen to subscribe prostate. to our YouTube channel. That's you hair. Have one? Talks Mag sure on you YouTube. You that is Hair people. Talks if Mag you on YouTube. Your prostate, subscribe, your subscribe. Prostate. Tell everyone to Will subscribe. This channel is awesome, care. and we appreciate you guys. Anybody else have any questions? Remember your prostate. Sugar is the enemy on a prostate. Don't let your man drink. Don't let him eat too much. By the way, these cookies have no high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. It's a natural thing. It's mm -hmm. for moms and things like that. Mm -hmm. Take care of your prostate, ladies. Mm. Yes, you mm. do have a prostate. I have one. We all have one if you have a man. Okay? Mm. We all have prostates if you have a man. So just like we take care of ourselves, we have to tell them to take care of theirs. Hello, how are you doing? What can you do for um, <laughs> having no edges? The same thing you can do for having no man. Get yourself together and they'll grow back. I'll see you later.